Welcome to Ward Wrenching. Today we're going to be talking about channel locks or commonly known as groove joint pliers. We're going to go over what they are, how do they work, when do we use them when working on cars, how much should we really spend. First, heads up. All right, so these are groove joint pliers. We also call them channel locks. Channel locks is actually a brand name, so if you're looking for them on Amazon or Home Depot, you're going to type in groove joint pliers. So how these work is we have the small jaw at the bottom, the longer jaw at the top, we have a pin here and it pivots and we're able to open them. And then you can see here we have these serrations and that lets us choose a different size for adjustability on the pliers. So we would use these whenever we need to grab um, some type of bolt, maybe it's rounded off or we're working on some type of uh, round surface or pipe, or if we're trying to grip coast clamps, these are great for that. So a lot of people don't know how to use these properly. And I actually learned from my father-in-law, who's a plumber. And he said, what you do is you, you're going to orient your, your pliers and they have these teeth here. And if you look real closely, you can see that the teeth are angled. You want to grip whatever the surface is and, and twist in the direction that the teeth are facing. So you want those teeth to be able to grab and bite into uh, whatever fitting you're working on or bolt. If you do it the other way, then it's gonna, it's not going to work with you. So if we were to grab a bolt and tighten it down and the teeth are facing this way and go this way, if we go up, we're just going to slip right off the bolt or the uh, pipe or whatever. It's going to mar your finish. It's not going to work. But if we bite down and we go with the teeth, so they're able to grab and dig in. So the teeth on the top are facing this way or the teeth on the bottom facing that way. So we're able to get that grip. So that's how you use channel locks or groove joint pliers properly. So how much should we spend on these? So they come in different shapes and sizes. Um, generally, you're gonna buy them for about $29 on at Home Depot. Amazon, you can get this, a pack for about 20 bucks. So it's kind of, it's whatever brand you're loyal to, whatever you want to spend. Uh, I would recommend though, getting something with uh, a grip. So that way when, you, when your hands are covered in oil and grease and stuff, you're not slipping off uh, your wrench and your wires. These ones are made by Pittsburgh. It's a Harbor Freight brand. They've worked just fine for me. Um, so take that for what it is. So if you're interested in getting a pair of tongue groove flyers or channel locks, check out the link in the description. Also check out our website at wardwrenching.com. You'll be able to get your free garage setup checklist there. And that'll kind of get you started on all the different tools you need for your garage. And maybe it'll even give you some ideas on new tools that you don't have yet. And then if you found value in this video, share it with a friend.